Hello Aries, welcome to With Love Tarot Halloween Edition. As you can see, I've acquired some ears. <laughs> I hope everybody is having a beautiful October and a fun Halloween season. I will be looking at your past, current, and future energies. You guys know I love to spy on you. As well as doing a mystery trick-or-treat reading, I have mini readings on each piece of paper, so stick around to the end to see which one you got. Please tell me, what are the past, current, and future energies for my Aries viewers and subscribers for the rest of October going into November of 2019? What do they need to know and what do they need to hear? Okay, uh, bottom of the deck for overall energies and theme, we have strength, so very beautiful. You could be dealing with a fellow fire sign, uh, particularly a Leo. This is about having strength in a situation, the ability to rein in energies, to fix something, uh, really to be strong to and brave. Really beautiful card. In your past uh, energies could be something you're bringing into the present. We have the devil. So you could have been feeling strongly connected to somebody or something. This could also indicate obsessive feelings. Somebody could also be feeling a little bit obsessed about you. This is about some type of connection that is very hard for you to break. So we're going to clarify this in just a few moments to see what this is all about. Your current energies, we have the Queen of Cups. You could be dealing with somebody with water in their chart, a water sign. This is somebody who is beautiful on the inside and out. This is a man or woman. Message here though is that this person is a little bit guarded. They don't wear their heart on their sleeve. As you can see in this card, she actually has her cup covered. So um, she, it, he or she is choosy with who they choose to love, with who they choose to give their cup to. This could be you too. And coming into your future energy, some of you are going to be taking a rest. You're going to be going on some type of a retreat or just kind of recharging your batteries and meditating. This indicates some type of a break. This could also be a break in communication. So we're going to clarify everything to see. What other messages we can get here? Please clarify the Devil, Queen of Cups, and Four of Swords. Okay, wow, a lot of major arcana here, guys. Clarifying the devil, we have the hermit card. Okay, so you could be taking a break, or this is past. So there could have been some type of break that happened from a connection. Um, I'm actually going to take another clarifier on this. This is about trying to get some type of insight or guidance. Um, and perhaps you had to go within to really get some type of strength to break this connection or even overcome some type of obsessive energy. So I'm going to take another clarifier on that in just a few seconds. And clarifying Queen of Cups, we have the Tower. So some of you out there um, got some type of or are going to receive some type of news or message in a situation about the Queen of Cups or in a love situation. This isn't a bad card. This could be something that just comes in and, and is kind of out of the blue for you, like you didn't expect it. Somebody professing feelings for you. you th this could be a message that comes out of the blue, like you don't expect it to come in, that kind of feeling. 
Now, clarifying the Four of Swords, we have the Knight of Swords for the future. So as I, as I suspected, some of you out there are going to take a break in communication from somebody or something to really go within and recharge your batteries, but then you're going to be ready to come out of that energy and communicate, right? This is you wanting to really communicate with somebody or them wanting to communicate with you. Please clarify the Hermit with the Devil and the Tower and Queen of Cups. What's this all about? Okay. Yeah, it's exactly what I was feeling, guys. There there could have been, please take what resonates and leave the rest because this is so specific. There could have been something or somebody that you felt really um, connected to or bonded to, right? This is, it, it might not have been for your highest good though because this is the devil. And as you can see that there, there's really two people chained to this energy. This could also talk about some type of addiction or overindulgence. And you might have went within. You really had to maybe even isolate yourself for answers or to really get over whatever this toxic is what came to mind, this toxic connection or toxic whatever whatever it was that had you chained or bonded to something that wasn't for your highest good. Because I'm not seeing that it was. And it was a struggle. Okay? There was some type of struggle that took place, but I'm seeing that you likely overcame it. And if you didn't, then you're actively working on it. This could be with somebody or something. And what did I say, guys? Some type of news or truth that comes in because clarifying the tower with the Queen of Cups, we have the moon. So this is about getting some type of information about perhaps something that you were wondering about some type of revelation coming through, um, illuminating the situation. This could also talk about something happening around the full moon too. And now I'm going to move on to your trick or treat mystery reading. So I'm going to take, I'm not going to look. Okay, what are their feelings for me? I'm getting this for like almost all of the signs. So this is going to be about somebody who is most on your mind, right? This doesn't have to necessarily be romantic. This could be platonic. So think about somebody. What is Aries person's feelings for them currently? How does Aries person's feel about them currently. Okay. Oh, wow, guys. So beautiful. They for their feelings, you are their wish. They are wishing upon you. If they, if you're already connected, you're basically, you, you check all their boxes, really. They have been wishing on you. This could be a family member or friend, um, but romantic, particularly romantic. So such a beautiful card. You are their wish. Thank you all so much for watching. I wish you all a beautiful Halloween. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time with love. Bye.